Hi, this is Neera Jaiswal and welcome to the episode. In this episode, I am going to give you an overview of the canvas component. The canvas component is the root object for all your UI elements. So before going ahead, let me add a scene. I'll just create a folder called scenes. And I'll save this empty scene in the this folder. I'll just name this scene as main. Now I'll just go ahead and add a canvas component. You can right click on any empty part in the hierarchy and just select canvas. As you can see, a canvas has been added. This is the line which is there. If I zoom out, I can show you the canvas here. This is the canvas. This is the pivot point. And as you can see, an event system has also been added as an object. It means that the canvas uses this event system object to help the messaging system. Now, when you want to add a UI component, you will have to add it under a canvas. So, for now, just I'll add a button. So, it has got added here. The reason is that canvas is the root object for all your UI elements and the UI elements has to be added within the canvas, the area which co is covered by the canvas. In fact, if you create a new UI element such as uh, the button or image anything, and if the canvas is not there, Unity will automatically create a canvas for you. So let's go ahead and delete this canvas. I'll just delete even the event system. Now. If I just want to add any of this components, I'll add this button, automatically Unity adds, adds the canvas as its parent. And as you can see, the button is the child of the canvas. And also the event system gets added to the hierarchy. This is basically the UI elements in the canvas are drawn in the same order they appear in the hierarchy. So if I add another button I'll add just another button and let me show you how they overlap this one is button 1 I can just change the text as 1 and this one as 2 you want I, I can change the color of this button this one I will just give it as red and this one I will keep as white only now as you can see it has got added at the in the order in which they have been added to the hierarchy so the one which has been added later on the two has is above the one which was added earlier the one the button one so this is because unity follows the hierarchy and the one which is added last is on the top one thing you have to see about it now is the properties in the properties if you go to the canvas it has got a property called render mode this has got three options screen space overlay screen space camera and, and wall space for non gaming apps and utility apps i'll suggest you just keep on using the screen space overlay which is by default it will be selected if not go ahead always and select this one the other two are very helpful if you are going for gaming apps so that's all for this episode i'll see you in the next episode keep rocking happy coding